Hi and welcome back to my channel. So I am going to be unboxing. So this is Living Proof. I ordered some or a couple travel size products for when we go on vacation. Sorry, it's a little beat. And see, that's not beat. That looks actually pretty nice. Living Proof. We are the science. You are the living proof. And then it says, show us hashtag your best hair at living proof inc instagram facebook twitter which i don't use pinterest youtube and when my hair is washed and looking good maybe i'll do that well they have the same stuff that dr storm uses this paper and stuff i know other brands that use this too i just can't think of anyone besides dr storm at the moment and there's two in here so I, I, the reason why I remember to get these was I went to the, the beauty supply or beauty salon store by my house last week and I asked the girl when I was like looking around at the products, the hair products, and I realized they don't have the travel size. And I was pretty sure that Living Proof does make travel size products, like more than just the ones I had already gotten or seen or sold and others, you know, I worked at Ulta, Ultra. But they do have these online if you go to the website for Living Proof. And so I got two of the Living Proof Full Thickening Mousse. And it says Boost Volume with Hold. Boost Volume with Hold. And these are 1.9 ounces each or 56 milliliters. I use this to scrunch my hair after I wash it. I use my Oribe. Nourishing oil, nourishing oil. I almost forgot what it was, but I know what it is. I just forgot. You know what I mean? And then I go in with some of this stuff and I scrunch it, which you've probably seen in my videos before. So I thought, I thought this was a wonderful idea to get for like when we go on vacation because they're travel size and they should pass the TSA or airport restrictions. It should be okay to go. Now, last but not least, is Tarte Cosmetics. And I want to say almost every year, I can't say I've done it every single year, but almost every year that I can think of, I'm, I'm, I usually get this. I might have missed one or two in between, but I know I did when I lived in my apartment before this place, before we had our house. How do you do this? I don't know. Okay, I guess I have to just read the box. So, this actually says, Tarte Perks. Kind is the new pretty. Join for exclusive rewards. And then, you know, on the back of this, it says, Kind is the new pretty. Tarte High Performance Naturals. Cheers to 20 plus years and counting. Wow, it's been that long. They've been around since I was about 20. Amazing. Uh, at least, uh, I mean, I'm that. Female founded cruelty free formulas with good for you ingredients and kindness. We believe it's what's on the inside that counts. And you could scan this QR code to virtually try on bestsellers. And so, this is what I was talking about without interrupting myself was they had this. Seven or six products for $67. They did their annual special, I think it's once a year, where you can get six or seven items for $67. I forget how much they let you do this year, but let me see. Six, seven. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This year it was seven for $67. I thought usually it was six for $67. It might have been, and they changed it. So I got so many things in here. We're gonna, all right, I don't know if I wanna try them all right now because my skin needs to be washed. But this is the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Cream in shade Cranberry. Have I used this one before? I don't know if I used this exact style before, but I thought I used Cranberry before, or maybe I didn't. Cherry, cranberry, which one did I get? I don't remember. But I like these, like the Maracuja lip product. They give you choices per one. So there's seven things you could pick. The last one, there were no choices. And I don't know if it's because 
they ran out of everything else or if that was the only option you had but it was the black makeup bag so this one is like this i don't think i have this one in this color but i have another one of this but in a different shade that's why this looks familiar or two different shades this is the cranberry and i'm gonna try this for you or with you But I'm definitely not going to try everything because, again, my face isn't that clean right now. <laughs> so, that's really pretty, isn't it? Like, I didn't know what color to pick. And, like, I go between mauves and, like, reds and purple. And depending on my mood, to be honest, is what I go with. And sometimes I'll get, like, a, if I get two lips, I'll get, like, a red. You know, for those times where, like, I want to look extra. Or, like, I'm going on a date with Daniel. And I want to look really sexy or something. So I'll get a red. When I want like a regular, regular, like everyday look. I might get something different. You know, it depends on what I'm doing. Or planning on doing or what I want to do. This is one of the items that I got. Which is different from what I've been usually doing or wearing. But I have used, pretty sure I've used brown before. I know I've used funky colored mascaras before. This is my first time using the brown Maneater mascara, but again, I'm not going to use it right now. Like, I'm really not going to use it right now. Excuse me. Mainly because my eyes are bothering me. Um, and they hurt. So I'm not going to torture myself even more than I already am. But yeah, this is the brown Maneater. I didn't even know they had this in brown until they I saw they had blue, brown and black. And then I was like... I'm gonna get that one because my eyes are green but they also change colors from like green to like gray to blue and I don't know what I don't know what color that is but and then I got a blue one recently from Colourpop which you could barely tell it's blue maybe if I use like the blue eyeshadows with the blue um mascara it would maybe show up more but it didn't really to me so I love the Man Eater mascara normally and I was like, why not get brown? So it's it looks the same on the surface. And then on the bottom it says brown. I can't read it. Not because you can't read, but because you can't see it. Man eater, and we're gonna look at this. She's a man eater, make her work. That came out really nice. Brown. That's brown. Dark here, but it should be brown. Can you tell? Probably not. But yeah, it's brown. I almost want to use it. Like, I really. It's so tempting, but I can't really know. Come on, it hasn't really hurt me. But yeah. So that's the brown Man Eater Tarte Mascara. You know, I've, sometimes it's like nice to go outside of the box and, or go out of your comfort zone and try new things. And that was one of them. And I love the, like, if you look at the picture here, too, it shows you it's, like, 16-hour long wear with no clumping or flaking, instant length, volume, and curl, ophthalmologist tested and safe for contact lens wearers, vitamin E, jojoba, and carnauba, not carnauba wax. I don't even pronounce that. But, woo! That's a bit much. Can you see that? Isn't that kind of cool? Like, I know you can hardly see that, but like, it's really cool looking. I like this kind of wand. And I was watching a video yesterday on YouTube where the guy was saying, that's basically the kind of wand you want your mascara to have. Like the plastic, is it plastic? With like the bristles, like that. Yeah. And then, I haven't used this shade yet before, but I was looking at it. Why is it open? I don't know. Um, in the examples they give you for like what color looks on what on who. And they didn't have the ones that I wanted necessarily, but this one was on what's her name? That girl that replaced that other girl. They're like spokesperson, <laughs> lady model person, the brunette. Well, she was wearing it, this shade of this foundation and like their examples of like what it would look like if you got this one 
And this is the tight, the tight, oh my God. Tarte High Performance Naturals Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in Shade. Captivating. Kind of matches my shirt, except this shirt's a little more like, yeah. Barbie pink. Maybe I'll play with this. Apply in an upward motion to the top of the cheekbones and blend for a flush of color. Out of all the Prestige brands, I would say this one's one of my favorites. I love the NARS Orgasm, but like this one was my favorite too for the longest time. I never used this color before again, but like other ones in this type, the Amazonian Clay. Whoa, that was hard. And it comes with a little mirror so you could see yourself. Doesn't really smell like much. It kind of looks like the part, the um, party one. I like the party, or was it part, something like that. And then there was like a beautiful something, or what's it called? Blushing Bride, something. The party one, and then the other one, I, was, I can't, if I, I'd have to look at the names to remember it, but it's something like that. Party. But this is nice, and it looked good on that girl, whatever her name is. I can't remember. I can picture her, though. Oh no, the whole thing is about to come out. Feels like they're broken. So it looks like this, if you could see it. I can't really tell because my like face is all flaring up right now, and my cheeks are like red. Normally, because I, I got lupus. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a bad example. But it made him look a lot redder. Pinkish red. I am very flushed right now. Before and after I put it on, I'm like, my nose. It's like screaming, I'm mad at you. It is. It's mad at me. This is really pretty packaging though. The ones that I've had before did not look like this. They were different. So they definitely changed the packaging and I like this new look. It feels more sturdy, but when I opened it up before, it was like the, the magnets. Thing or whatever the blush the thing the blush comes in was like kind of loosey goosey and I'm like oh no you don't oh no you don't don't you dare come out of there all right so next well my papers are falling all right I got it we're not gonna open this up because I don't want to get it dirty but out of all the options they had and I was like you know what I was looking for like a new brush this one says sea breezy cream face brush and i think it's like foundation and something else and i can't tell you which one is which i have to look at the website but it's pretty i'm not really a fan of double-sided brushes because when i put them in my thing i feel like the the part that's not covered like that's in the thing like brush holder is getting all yucky So I just don't like that. <laughs> Although the part that's exposed to the air is probably not better, but that's just me. So I thought this was like a nice idea. I kind of wished it was just one-sided. I used to have the Tarte Rainforest foundation brush. I don't know what happened to it, but I don't think I have it anymore. And then I got a new foundation because the one that I had was probably like not good anymore. And they're only good for six months. So I got a replacement for this shade. I usually carry two, one from when it's summer, when I'm tanner. If I do get tan, I'm not really supposed to anymore. But when I used to, and then this is my like regular shade. And it's 22N Light Neutral Tarte Double Duty Beauty Face Tape Foundation. Don't ask why I'm doing this, but I am. And uh, so this is it. But lately I've been like feeling my Anastasia one more. I think it's like the way my skin is like feeling that day. To be honest. And then um, what does it say? It is. And one of the reasons why I like it is because it says tape technology mattify, hydrate, and smooth. And I need the hydration. And smooth is always good. 
and um, like a mattified look is good, but you know what I mean? But you want hydrated skin, hydrated skin, but mattified, you don't want it to be like moving either. But I do love, and this is the part that I'm excited about, full coverage, full coverage, natural matte finish. So it's not supposed to be like extra drying matte looking. It's supposed to be like a nice natural matte finish. I don't know what I'm going to say. Woo! And then 12 hour power. If you want more than 12 hours, it's too bad, Chad. Then transfer proof, which I love because it's always pain in the butt when your makeup transfers over places. But you don't want it. Waterproof and sweat proof gotta love it and i mean it pretty much is from what i can remember so yeah when you take it out of the box this is what it looks like that's what 22n fair and neutral looks like it's about right <laughs> i don't know i just ordered some to a foundation and a concealer from house labs house labs house labs lady gaga's brand for the first time i've tried other things from her before it's been a while but that those i have not tried yet and i'm like a little nervous but anyway this is not about lady gaga this is about tart and then before we get to the last item i'll show you the bag so this is the makeup bag that was the only option that i could find it's black it looked kind of like a snake skin it's kind of pretty let's take it out of the plastic and get it out of the plastic jeez Jeez Louise, it's back in the bag, or box, I mean. Cat out of the bag. I was going to be gentle, but you know what? We're not going to be gentle. Get the freak off of me, plastic. Oh. All right, I'm trying not to rip the bag, just this bag. <laughs> it's staticky, so this is really pretty. I might bring this on my vacation, but I might not. Like, put my makeup in this. What's with this thread? I mean, this is really pretty and it's very sexy. I would love a purse with this look, but like obviously something more sturdy. That would be really pretty with like a handle. <laughs> and it says tart on the little thing here. And you unzip it and there's nothing in it but one of these little packs. But I can put stuff in it. I might put my products in here. And it's just solid black. And it says tart on this little label here. You can't see it, but you'll have to believe me. I'm gonna put these in here. The foundation is heavy. And then last but not least, because I couldn't decide on anything else, and I was like, I kinda want another eyeshadow palette. But the sad part about this is I think a lot of the colors I already that are on here, I already have something like it. But it's cool. It looks cool for like, what season are we starting now? Fall? And then the winter? This is called... She's a man-eater, make her work hard. It's a Tarte High Performance Naturals. Maneater Catitude eyeshadow palette with six shades and they're called Attraction, Smitten, Infatuation. Where's the other ones? That's only three. Oh, Sizzle. That's four. Oh, spicy, and then instincts. This is good for a year, whereas the foundation is only good for six months. I was going to say six years, I wish. This is really pretty, and actually would look really cool with the bag. Why is this dirty? Who's been putting their dirty ass, their dirty paws on here? This is very fancy looking, by the way. And look at this. Isn't this fancy? I'm so fancy. I didn't even have to kill my eyes before. It's right there. So attraction, sizzle, smitten, spicy, infatuation, and instincts. Man eater, make it work 
<laughs> should play No Way for Tonto in this video. I might do that. So there's a little plastic over the mirror and it looks so pretty. I don't want to touch it. I might leave it there. And these are the shades. I'm going to swatch these. I can't. I have to. Not like I can't, but I have to. I have to swatch these. So they're pretty big too. So this one is supposed to be smitten. This is a really good transition shade. And on my arm, it like blends right in. And then the next one, it, I should show it to you guys. Can you see this? I'm trying not to give you the finger, but I can't help it. And then we have this bronzy goldish color, which is called Sizzle. Whoa. Hello. And then I'm just gonna wipe on my shirt because I'm gonna wash it anyway. And hopefully it comes out. We have another, there's three mattes and like, no, four mattes. Oh, cool. This one is called Attraction. You would make a really nice, or you could make a really nice, or I might make one eventually, a really nice eye look with like every single shade in here. That's that one. Then we have this guy here, or girl, or whatever it is instincts which is like more of a copper color copper whoa and i like how like they have a lot of control at least with my finger where like it's not really falling this looks really pretty i haven't done swatches in a long time really pretty god my arm is so freaking thin i can't take it looking at it it comes off really easily on your t-shirt by the way and there's like this brown color it's called infatuation like a chocolate brown ish infatuation na, 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 na. follow your heart no, that's intuition attraction attraction let's see if i can get that off my arm in my finger <laughs> what the hell's wrong with me today and then we got this like greenish, grayish, bluish color. Uh, oh, it's more blue on my finger. Or it's blue with the brown. Let's see what else I can do. Yeah, it's still about blue gray. It's called spicy, which I feel like these are backwards. What do you think? Interesting. And they come off my fingers pretty well on my t-shirt pretty well what do you think on a scale of one to ten don't they look really nice in my arm <laughs> yeah i think so so that's what i got from the tart six no tart seven for 67 dollars special is that what they call it i don't know that's kind of funny the seven for 67 dollars special that's what i'm calling it so thank you again for watching my videos i hope you enjoyed this one and um it's entertaining to say the least you can see the most we can say the least too if you want if you liked this video please give it a thumb up give me the thumb up and leave a comment try to be nice if you can't be nice leave one anyway i might leave it up <laughs> i might respond too and don't forget to share this with your mom your bro everybody you know i don't have a mom and i don't have a bro but i know a lot of people and remember to subscribe before you leave and i'll see you all later bye bye